Transform. What does it mean? One definition is make a thorough or dramatic change in the form, appearance, or character of. Let's look at the transformation of a butterfly in the transformation. Butterflies. Most of us have seen them at home, parks, zoos, and other places. There are roughly 18,500 species of butterflies living worldwide except Antarctica. Depending on the species and where they live, they can live one week to one year as an adult. Let's look at four different stages of most butterflies. The egg is the first stage. Usually there are 100 to 200 eggs laid with about 2 out of 100 becoming adults. Eggs are normally laid on plants and are protected by a hard ridged outer shell with a thin coating of wax keeping the egg from drying out. Eggs normally develop in a few weeks but can go through a resting stage if laid when it is cold. The larva or caterpillar is the next stage. This is a time the caterpillar eats a lot, normally plants, and quick growth that causes them to split their skin multiple times as they grow. Stage 3 is the pupa or chrysalis stage, when the caterpillar stops eating and looks for a concealed place like under a leaf to attach to. It then attaches its body with silk and some species spin a cocoon for added protection. This stage can last from a few weeks to two years depending on the species. Rapid metamorphosis or abrupt change in the body's structure occurs. The final stage is a butterfly or a mega, which is the adult stage. Before flying, the butterfly may have to let its wings dry. The primary food is nectar or other liquids. Butterflies also pollinate plants and can migrate. Butterflies can be one half of an inch up to the Queen Alexandria's 11 inches long. Did you notice some of the amazing adaptations God created in butterflies? From laying many eggs so a few can survive, to eggs being able to hatch at the right time, to a mechanism for rapid growth, to looking for a concealed spot to become a butterfly. Other interesting things can be learned such as color helping to disguise or tell a potential predator to stay away. Are butterflies mentioned in the Bible? No but moths are mentioned nine times in the King James Version. The Bible says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in or steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. What can we apply to our lives? Like butterflies, our lives have different stages and different lifespans, and all of us are humans, but have differences with each other. As butterflies or any species, our lives are not guaranteed to reach life expectancy. As we age, our bodies will usually transform into taller, stronger, more mature beings into adulthood. We may weaken physically, hair may disappear or turn gray or white, and things don't work as well as they did in our youth. The Bible says, that is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long, yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. How we change on the inside is what matters. The Bible says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. Are you putting on the new self, being renewed in knowledge after the Creator? Some believe while the pupa is transforming into a butterfly that many of the tissues are broken down to be used in the transformation. Jesus died for us, but his body did not see decay. Jesus' body was wrapped in linen, but that was temporary until Jesus rose from the grave. The pupa is wrapped in a cocoon before becoming a butterfly in different species. But even if we die and our bodies decay, we will be resurrected into incorruptible beings. Our resurrected or changed bodies will be transformed into the best we've ever been, and it will last forever. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. If the pupa doesn't change, it cannot become a butterfly. Likewise, if we don't change spiritually, we cannot see the kingdom of God. 
When Nicodemus asked how to be born again, Jesus says it had to happen by water and spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. We can learn a lot by studying God's creatures such as butterflies, but the best source of learning is God's Word, the Bible. Have you been transformed into a follower of Christ? If you have, praise God, for we will all be transformed and live forever with Jesus. If you haven't given your life to Christ and been born again, don't wait. Now is the time for salvation. Please click on the Salvation Prayer video to shortly follow to find out how. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy Spirit.